Keyword research literally decides if your product is going to succeed or to fail. We only have a few main keywords that are driving sales specifically to our product. Let's say we have five, and if we miss one of them, then we'll miss 20% sales, our organic ranking will suffer, we'll have to spend more money on ads. In short, it's a financial disaster, and that's why I'm going to show you today my strategy, how I make sure that I find all my main keywords when launching a brand new product on Amazon. And furthermore, I'm going to show you some metrics that nobody really pays attention to, which will give you even more of an advantage. And we will do all of that by analyzing multiple competitors with the help of the Helium Tensor Repo tool as well as the Magnet tool. And first I want to let you know that you can get a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me and all you have to do is sign up to Helium 10 with my link down in the video description and then we will jump on a call together and we will make sure you have a spot-on, perfectly keyword-optimized listing that makes sure that you will sell successfully. So when you're going to create a brand new listing on Amazon, step number one should be to identify the top 5 to 15 keywords that are driving sales in your niche. And why do we need them? Because we will strategically place them in our listing later on so that they are going to drive sales to our product as well. So the way I begin my keyword research is by using the magnet tool and we will go over there in just a second once I have introduced you to the test product which we are pretending to sell and it is a hanging bird feeder that is made out of metal and it has no solar function and the sales price is around 17 US dollars. And I'm telling you these details because we need to know our product details in order to pick the right keywords later on. Now, as I mentioned, my strategy to get the best keywords consists of two steps. And the first one is to go over to the magnet tool. And here we are typing into the search bar bird feeder for now as our first general search. And we are going to apply some filters later on. And since we want only relevant keywords, we generally want keywords that have a certain search volume. And that's why I want to see keywords that have a search volume of, of at least 500 searches per month. If your niche is larger, you can pick a thousand here as well. And next is we want to have a word count of at least two words because one word keywords often have, yes, the high search volume, but not really a buyer intent for our specific product. And that's why we usually want to focus on those long tail keywords that perfectly describe our product. And next is we want to see only keywords that show up organically and then we can already hit search. And now when we scroll down here, we can already see quite some interesting things. And we can see that we have now a list of 131 keywords and initially it was more than 8,000. So we have gotten that list down quite a bit and we want to manually bring that list even further down in just a second. But I want to show you some important metrics and this is knowledge 80% of your competitors don't apply when they search for products or when they set up their listing. So I think it's very important that I show you that. And the first important metric I wanted to show you is the Magnet IQ score. It basically compares the search volume with the amount of sellers in the market. So the higher the score, the better, because it shows you that there's a high search volume, a high demand for a keyword, but there are not many competitors covering that demand. So that's why that is an important metric, especially when you are developing a new product or trying to find a new product, you want to have a look out for these higher Magnet IQ scores. And then another thing that not many people look out for is the title density. And this shows you the number of products on page one that have this specific keyword in their title. So when you find later a keyword with a rather high search volume and only a few people have that keyword in their title, then you might consider putting that into your title so you'll be able to rank quicker on page one for that keyword. So that is a huge benefit if we have a look out for that as well. And then I also wanted to show you the CPR and this shows you how many products you have to sell within eight days in order to show up in the first half of page one. So if we have a lower starting budget, then we want to look out for the CPR. Then we know that here in that case for bird water bowl, we only have to sell 10 products within eight days in order to rank on page one. And that would be beautiful. It has a little bit of a smaller search volume, but still this is a metric you want to look out for. Let's say when you have a starting budget of $5,000, for example. Okay, and now we're going to bring that list down. And I said that I like to do that manually. So that's what we are going to do now. And I'm going to pick only the most relevant keywords. So obviously it's not bird food. And now I'm just going through and kick out the ones that are not perfectly describing my product. So it's a smart bird feeder. No, it's not. 
Does it have a camera? It also doesn't have a camera. So, and then when there's a keyword and you're not sure if it represents your product, then you can just uh, hover over the keyword and then it shows you whatever products are showing up in the first 10 search results. So this is bird food as well. That's why we kick that out as well. And then we have a clear window bird feeder and those are different products here. So if we click on one, then you can see that this is this kind of plexiglass bird feeder that people have in front of their windows. So that's also not the product we are selling. So we kick that out as well. And that's how I narrow down the list. And I'll do that for now. And then I'll show you the results in a second. So these six keywords are the ones that I filtered out as the most relevant for our product. And it is bird feeder for outside, outdoor bird feeder, large bird feeder, hanging bird feeder, bird feeders for outdoors and bird feeder. Okay, this was the first step of our top keyword search. And now we want to confirm and or enlarge the list of keywords by getting keywords that are proven to drive sales to our top competitors. And for that, we will use the Cerebro tool. And here we want to know what are the main keywords for the niche as a whole, not just for one competitor. If you are basing your keyword research only on the, let's say, top one selling competitor, you're not going to have a wide enough view of the keywords that are driving sales for that whole niche. So the top competitor might as well have not the best keywords in their listing, but the second or third or fourth best seller, maybe they are getting sales from a keyword that the top competitor isn't getting many sales from. So it's important to do our research at the niche level. And how do we do that now? We do that by going to amazon.com and we search for a keyword from our magnet search, let's say in that case, hanging bird feeder. And now we are going to open up the X-ray tool from Helium 10 in the Chrome extension. And we are going to pick our top competitors and top competitors are those products that are similar in design, functionality, sales price, and that have a decent month monthly revenue as well. So I'll go through the list here and I'm going to pick five to seven of them. And when you click here, we can later right away go to the Cerebro tool by clicking on Run Cerebro. Okay, now let's go through that list here. And when we hover over this picture here, then we see the main image. And now we can see that this is a different kind of bird feeder. I think this is the one you would say is a squirrel proof bird feeder. So we're not picking that one as our top competitor, neither this one. And also this one, it's also a different kind. And also the sales price here is way above ours. So it's not a direct competitor. And that's why when we come here, we can see this is similar to ours. And this is the first product that I'm going to pick as a top competitor. And now when we go through, let's find five more. Let's pick this one as well. I know it's our example, but it will still in this demonstration now give us the relevant keywords. Then we hover over this one. We can pick that one as well. It has the same sales price. Then here we can see this is a solar bird feeder. So this is not a product we want to target. This here is basically a real house. It's a different product. So that's also not the product we want to pick. This is solar again. And then Twinkle Star. Okay, this is similar, similar sales price. Now we are picking this one as well. They also still have a decent amount of sales. We want to have that so we know that they are doing everything right as well. And then let's pick, how many do we have? Four, so pick two more. And let's pick this one for our last product. And now we have six products and now we can click on Run Cerebro and it will open up the Helium 10 website and then it directly has all of our products in here and it's going to search our most relevant keywords. Okay, now we can see that our products are ranking for more than 7,000 keywords, but we only want the top keywords at this stage. So we want to bring that list down as well and we are going to do that by using the filter settings. So let's go up here again and use the filter settings. So first, we don't want to see keywords for which our top competitors are ranking on page six or seven. We want to see the keywords our products here are on average ranking on page one. And only that's really going to show us which keywords are the most valuable for our niche. And that's why competitors rank average is our go-to filter setting for the first step of trying to find those top 10 to 15 keywords or five to 15 keywords. And hence we want to see keywords only where our competitors rank between rank one and 30. And the next important filter is ranking competitors count. We don't want to see the keywords where just one competitor is ranking for, or maybe two. And now I have picked six products. So I would say, hey, I would like to see 
keywords where at least three or four out of our six products are ranking for and not just ranking but ranking on page one between rank one and 30 on average that's the settings that we have picked now all right and that's all the settings we need for this stage and now we can apply the filters and when we scroll down to our filtered keywords then we can see that we have still 89 filtered keywords left and they are all basically relevant for our product but now we have also keywords included that have a search volume of 31 for example or 64 and that's just not relevant for us we're not going to embed these uh, these keywords in a limited space for example in the title so we want to dismiss all the keywords that have a search volume that is lower than 500 and then we apply the filters again and now we have 12 keywords left and that's beautiful so i'm just copying them now to our word document and then we are comparing the keywords that we have here from the ones with the magnet tool and then we'll soon have our list of the most important keywords that we need for our product and we can embed them later on in our title in our back end into other bullet points so this step is extremely important for ranking later on and now we can compare the search results from the magnet tool and the cerebral tool and now the first one is hanging bird feeder for outdoors we don't have that on the left so it's one we want to pick and then also it has hanging bird feeders for outdoors a nice search volume so we want to embed that somewhere then we have outdoor bird feeder we have it on the left as well that's why we can eliminate it here and then we have hanging bird feeder we also have that in both of our search results yes like get this list from the magnet tool down and then we have bird feeders for outside we have that on the left as well so we paste it in here so it doesn't matter that here it's singular version and here plural so we can just pick one of those and then we have bird feeders outside hanging and we can also put that into our final list then we have bird feeders and bird feeder so in that case we can just type write it like this and then we have covered that actually we can delete that because we have bird feeder embedded into one of the long uh, tail keywords already so we don't need that keyword at all and then we have bird feeder for garden actually now we need to critically think if this is relevant for us if this describes our product best because it could also be one that is exactly squirrel proofed solar also it could be one that is standing on the ground so that doesn't describe our product precisely that's why i would not use this one in our list okay and now we have to check what bird feeder hopper is i don't know that so let's have a look quickly and here we can see this describes basically our product with the products i see here i'm not a native speaker so i'm not 100 percent sure if i would pick that one i leave it in for now and just like that you can see this is our list of main keywords that we are embedding into the most important places in our listing in order to rank well organically later on and now it's the time for you to do that for your product and this is i would say step a of keyword research and the next step would be to find still top level keywords but maybe keywords that some of these top competitors have missed out on and i'll show you that in one of the upcoming videos so if you don't want to miss that subscribe and if your next step is to set up your ppc campaign then the following video is for you i have shared a great strategy for product launch